hope that you are enjoying the crisp air outside. It's been unusually warm quite late this year here, but I know that some cooler weather is coming as we quickly approach winter. The good news is that as the weather gets cooler out and you're less interested in spending lots of time outside, it's a perfect time to increase the time that you spend learning English. So what are we waiting for? Let's learn a new sound today. Today is actually the end of our vowel diphthongs as we learn the ow sound. As a quick reminder, a diphthong is a sound that has two separate English sounds used in one syllable quickly together. The ow sound is actually a commonly heard vowel diphthong, so it's important that we get it right. In order to produce this sound, we need to start with a wide open mouth. The jaw drops away from the mouth and the tongue stays low in the mouth as it touches the sides and front of the bottom teeth. Leave your lips approximately where they would usually be as they move apart with your jaw. This is the start of the sound. In order to complete the sound, close your jaw as your lips close into a tight circle like it does for the W sound. During this time, the front of your tongue can stay where it was, but the back of your tongue moves upwards until the sides of the tongue are felt along the back top teeth. The body of the tongue nearly touches the roof of your mouth. Ow. Ow. A good keyword for this sound is out. Out. Ow. Great job! This sound can be used in any position of a word and it can be spelt as an OU, an OW, an OUGH, or an OU consonant E. One thing to note is that usually you will see an OU spelling at the beginning or middle of a word, while OW is more commonly seen in the middle or at the end. Let's try some practice for this sound. Ouch. Outside. Owl. Out. Hour. About. House. Power. Trout. However, down, thousand, mouse, announce, clown, vowel, cloud, south. Mouth. Sound. Amount. Howled. Shout. Ground. Mountain. How. Allow. Eyebrow, cow, wow. Notice that many of the words with this sound have the sound occurring in the middle. Let's try a sentence. Wow, about a thousand owls are flying outside the house while shouting at the mouse on the ground. Wow! About a thousand owls are flying outside the house while shouting at the mouse on the ground. A challenge with this sound is knowing if the spelling of the sound is being used for this sound or another one. 
For example, the word low uses the O as the long vowel sound with the W being silent. However, the same spelling pattern can use the OW sound in a word like cow. Unfortunately, there is no easy rule to use to know which sound is intended by a specific spelling with this sound, which means that you can only learn this through practice, such as listening to others speak. Because of this, it's important to keep practicing any time that you can. Have you ever tried joining a conversation club? They can have great opportunities for practice, both listening and speaking in a real conversation. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my channel on YouTube to know right away when new resources are posted. Enjoy your day and see you next time.